A sensational innings from David Milan ensured that Middlesex beat Glamorgan by eight wickets with 62 balls to spare. Middlesex needed to win this Royal London One Day Cup game at Lords to have any chance of making it through to the knockout stages. Batting first, Glamorgan looked to Colin Ingram to help them out again. The South African has been in fantastic form in this competition this year and he was soon on his way to what would become his third hundred of the season in 50 over cricket. In fact, only once has he failed to make it to at least a 50 in five innings overall. His latest half century came off 64 balls with only one four but two sixes, but he had to play some more big shots as the overs and partners at the other end ran out. He saved the best until last by hitting Ollie Rayner for two maximums, the second of which brought him his 100 off 91 deliveries. His tally of fours now up to four and his number of sixes totalling five. Apart from Jacques Rudolph's 58 at the top of the order, no one was able to stick it out with him for too long. The pick of the Middlesex attack was James Harris against his former county. He ended with figures of four for 38, the best of the 25-year-old's one-day career. He took three of those wickets at the death, the ones of Andrew Salter, Ingram for 102 and Rory Smith, as the Welshmen ended their allotted overs on a total of 251 for nine. Simply not enough on this surface. Indeed, this game was all over once Milan and Paul Sterling opened up with a stand of 139 in 21 overs in reply. Put simply, Milan is in the form of his life right now. He's averaging more than 100 in Red Bull cricket this year, while this magnificent display ensure that he's currently the second highest run scorer in this tournament this summer, with only Surrey's Stephen Davis doing better. This was his second 50-over ton of the summer and the sixth of his list day career, his latest coming off 103 balls and being reached with his 13th four to go with 1-6. It was a destructive display from a batsman who is at last confirming what a talent he really is. With that out of the way, his job was to now finish off the game in a flash. In a tight group, net run rate may yet come into play and the stylish left-hander raced his team over the winning line. His third 50 came off only 22 balls as he made it to 150 for the first time in List A cricket. It's been a summer where he's broken a number of his own personal records and he was now hitting some of his biggest ever shots. The match was finished off in style by Neil Dexter with a six as Middlesex cruised home. Milan ending on 156 made from only 128 deliveries. The home team made 255 for two from 39.4 overs to end that campaign with an eight wicket win with 62 balls to spare. They now have to wait to see how other sides fare in their last matches to see if they've done enough to qualify for the quarters.